Hi, welcome to the data tech. So today I'm going to show you how to work with uh, Spark SQL. It's like a, a beginning video. So I'm going to show you some basic stuff to just have you the hands on experience on the Spark SQL. So here I'm going to do a basic data analysis with some e-commerce customer data just with 10 records i'm going to upload one more video in the next week in which i'm going to show you some advanced analysis with spark sql so this video is completely kind of an uh, beginner level okay let's get into the practical fine so uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a data frame and then i'm going to create some data set and i've given i'm going to give some schema for it and then i'm going to play with that data set fine okay so now you can see here, like I have a data. So the data has been hard coded. I'm not reading it from the text file or something like that. So I'm just hard coding with sequence. I'm just using sequence to create this list of data. And you can see it has like one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So first name, uh, last name. So Gautam is first name, SB is last name and serial number. And then like what product that the customer has purchased and then uh, in which website, which app they used. So so it's Flipkart, it's an e-commerce app. And what is the price of that particular uh, product? Right. So now you can see in line number eight. So val call equal to sequence of first name, last name, serial number, product, platform and price. So now I just created like two sequence. One is data and another one is column. Now I'm just creating a variable var df equal to data dot to df. So I'm converting this data to a data frame and then I'm just passing the COL. So the COL is where I have created the column. So I'm just mapping it to my data, right? So I'm just printing DEF dot show. Uh, let me run this first. So I have my spark shell here. I've just pasted it and I've just do this. I'll just execute this DEF dot show. So now you can able to see first name, last name, serial number, product, platform and price and I'm, I got like the respective data as well. So I just created a schema for the data which I have created. Fine. So what is the next step? So what is the first thing that we going to do is uh, changing data type of a column. So that is the first exercise I'm going to show. So you can see here I'm just importing function and type of uh, Spark SQL library and then I'm just printing before uh, and after so before the schema change and after the schema change so I'm just using this print schema method so what this print schema does right so you have a data frame what is this df so this df is actually the data frame that you created in line number nine so now the print schema will show you the uh, type of the data so internally spark does that so based on the uh, data like for example this Gautam is within double quotes right so it is a string so this one is not inside a uh, double code so then that is an int so it automatically uh, takes the data type on its own spark has that intelligence to uh, do okay so we call that as intelligence of a particular code so python has that so similarly spark has that scala has that functionality called intelligence so this program whatever i'm showing you is a scala version it's not python okay it's not PySpark. it's scala on top of spark okay fine so now uh, what i'll do i'll just run from line number 16 to 19 and I will just show you the before schema first. Okay. Okay. So this is my current schema. Okay. It says before, but this is the current schema. So first name string, last name string, serial number is integer, product is string, platform is string and price is integer. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this price column. Uh, I'm just going to cast this to double type from integer. I'm going to convert this to a double type and then I'm just printing this df.print schema again. Okay, so now let me do this. So now you can see price has been changed to double before it was an integer, right? Now it has been changed to double. So the first thing is data type change, which we have done. The next thing, adding a new column. So we have six columns. Now I want to add one more column to it. And by adding that column, I've just need to apply some functionality also. Now, if you can see here, df is what the df, which I already created equal to df dot with the column. So with the column is a function via which we will be adding a new column to the existing data frames. Okay. Or the transformed data set. So you are doing some kind of a transformation and you are exporting an output 
during exporting that output via the transformation which you have done you can add a column with the help of this width column or during the transformation also you can add a width column and then you can add a new column to it so i'm just adding a new column called offer price but what data is going to be in that offer price new column is what i'm doing is so this is the new column and this is the transformation that i'm doing for populating the data to this offer price column so we have price column right i'm just doing minus 100 so whatever the price that you have so in the above data for example if you see i have 50000 so i'm going to minus 500 in this amount and i'm going to say that as an offer price okay so what i'll do i'll just copy these two okay i'll run it here enter so now you can see there is one more new column got created called offer price and then 500 has been got reduced in from the actual price so actual price you can see here 50000 now here it is 49500 here you can see 65000 so here it is 64500 and so on so right so what is the next thing so okay so next thing is i'm just going to update the value for an existing column so for example i'm going to add a delivery charge and i have to update that amount so now you can see here df equal to df dot with column offer price call of offer offer place plus 50 so already i have a value now i have to update it so i'm just using the existing column name itself it is not a new column name okay it is an existing column name and offer price is the column which i'm going to alter and i'm going to add plus dot plus is the functionality i'm just going to do the summation 50 rupees i'm going to add with the offer price so that that is a delivery charge right so here i'm just using minus so here i'm using plus so let me run this okay so now you can able to see 50 rupees got added in the offer price but actual price is not got changed okay fine so we have seen how to change a data type and how to add a new column and how to update the value in the existing column so what is next so now dropping an unwanted column for example now i don't i know i don't need a price column so i have an offer price and that has 50 rupees added as a delivery charge also so i don't want to have my price column so just i'll drop this so the code here is df dot drop which column it is that is it is so simple okay so now i'm just doing the show again and you can see there is no price column here right so now what is the next thing create a new column from the existing column so i just create a new from the existing column via doing some transformation for example you can see here we have first name and last name but we don't have a full name what is full name actually the combination of first name and last name is called a full name but i don't have a column so what i'm going to do so the customer is asking me a report of full name okay so what i'm doing is df equal to df dot with column i'm creating a new column called the full name and the and the logic is i'm just concatenating the first name column and then last name column that's it so simple transformation okay so now i'm just going to run this so you need the spark sql function import okay i have already did it but just i'm just adding it again so now i just got one more uh, column called the full name and i'm just concatenating the first name and the last name you can see gautam sb full name is gautam sb so here first name and last name for the second record is nandu and the last name is b and the full name is nandu b that's it right so there is a space you can see between the first name and the last name it is there in the code you can able to see here so here you can you can give the delimiter also so the first thing i have given as a delimiter okay so i'm just giving the delimiter and then i'm just concatenating these two columns so automatically this delimiter will be get applied between these two columns right so the next thing i i just want to use some condition like case when okay we have this a normal sql right so i have to use some kind of an uh, case when statement like we have this if loop uh, if condition in the coding right similarly in sql we have this case when so now what i'm going to do is you can see like i have this flipkart amazon uh, ebay all these apps right so i just want to get the allies name for all these applications for example flipkart means f amazon means a so that's what i'm going to do here so df equal to df dot with column I'm just creating a new column, platform alias. As I told you already, with column is a function <coughs> function via which you can create a new column. Now I'm just adding this when call of platform is equal to 
dot equal to you can add this function dot equal to amazon then lit means literal like when you are trying to hard code a value right you have to use this lit literal okay so if it is a column then you can use call of whatever the column name the value will come there but you are hard coding some value means then you have to use lit of so when it is amazon the allies name i'm giving is a and flipkart means f and any other apps means it has to be other so this is what my customer requirement he's asking this in the report so i have to go in that way so let me run this okay so now you can able to see a platform allies a new column has been generated so flipkart means f amazon means a and ebay means other so we didn't handle ebay so it, it goes to others and then flipkart amazon again f and a right that's it so what is the what is the next thing uh okay it's, it's this is the last transformation renaming a column using with column rename so this is a function with column rename which is used to rename the existing column name okay so we used to do this alter table to change the column name similarly we have this so now uh you can see here df equal to df dot with column rename platform to app name so i have something called a platform so instead of saying this as a platform means amazon flipkart as a platform we can call it as an app name which is relevant right so let me rename it so just copy this and go back run it here so now you can able to see that i just renamed uh platform to app underscore name right so these are the some of the basic uh uh, hands-on stuff we have to do with the spark sql data frame this will give you some kind of an confidence and interest to work towards data frames in spark so spark sql uh, otherwise we can call it as a data frame when you say spark data frame that means you are working in spark sql when you say spark data set and that means you are working in spark sql we have two apis right in spark sql we have data frames and data sets so whatever i worked here is a data frame so if you are outside spark sql then we do uh, transformations and we call that as an rdd okay so this is a basic level so in the next level i'll show you how to join between two data frames and then how to do kind of a join transformations and then many other transformations data frame transformations like filters and then and writing your own udf on top of spark i'll show you in the uh, next video thanks for watching and please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleague and i do have mentioned my linkedin and instagram uh, page in the description box of this video please have a look and connect with me thanks for watching